President Jumali Sanyason attends the 22nd Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation or APEC Economic Leaders Meeting in Beijing, China from November 9th to 11th at the invitation of Chinese President Xi Jinping. The Lao delegation was welcomed at the airport by APEC organizing board representatives, the vice chairman of Beijing Municipal People's Council, Laos Ambassador to China along with Laos Embassy in China. The President's participation is to signify Laos' policy of continuously integrating into the world, pursuing a higher degree of multilateral diplomacy and strengthening relationship with regional partners as a contribution to APEC's common concerns and key points of its agenda. Themed Shaping the Future Through Asia-Pacific Partnership, the summit discusses three matters of connectivity, the formation of a free trade area of the Asia-Pacific and new economic and trade links. In his remark, President Jumali said regional peace and stability are crucial as the interests of Asian Pacific economies are closely intertwined, adding that the region will remain the most significant contributor to Laos' economic progress in the near future. According to the President, although the Lao PDR is a small and least developed country, there are many untapped potentials to be explored and applied for mutual benefits. Those potentials and opportunities are shown in different dimensions. He said the Lao PDR has a political stability, which is the basic criteria for its national development and growth. Geographical location of the Lao PDR is another important potential. Although the Lao PDR is a landlocked country, in terms of sub-regional and regional cooperation, the Lao PDR is the center of Southeast Asia's connectivity. The government of the Lao PDR has transformed the disadvantage of location to create an opportunity. At present, we are working closely with other ASEAN member states to implement the master plan on ASEAN connectivity by focusing, among others, on national infrastructure such as inland, river and air transportation, as well as trade, investment and tourism. Thus, enhancing connectivity with the neighboring countries within the greater Mekong sub-region through the east-west economic corridor and the North-South Economic Corridor. The Lao PDR has invested in development and upgrading the national roads and railways in order to link the country with Asian Highway and Trans-Asian Railway Network. At present, there are four Lao Thai friendship bridges across the Mekong River in operation an ongoing construction of a Lao-Myanmar friendship bridge and preparation for the construction of another Lao-Thai friendship bridge. The implementation of this connectivity policy will facilitate traveling, people-to-people -people connectivity, trade and investment exchange and tourism promotion in the region. The Lao PDR still has a potential and opportunity for development hydropower, which will supply clean energy to other countries in the greater sub-region. Therefore, the Lao government has pursued a policy to develop hydropower in the account of protection environment concurrently. At the same time, untapped natural resources in the Lao PDR 
are an opportunity to develop a tourism industry. President Jumali also invited investors from Asia Pacific and other regions to consider investing in the Lao PDR, which is an economy of Southeast Asia region, with potentials of natural resources, political stability, foreign investment promotion laws and facilities for ensure the benefits of foreign investors such as pursuance of special promotion policy and provide privilege for conducting business low cost price competitive and so on. The Lao PDI is welcome to receive all of you and do hope that we will seek an opportunity to visit and invest in the Lao PDI in order to work together to promote economic development of the Asia Pacific region to be continuously growth. Fifteen documents including leaders declaration on the summit and the 25th anniversary of the apex establishment together with four appendixes and a statement of the ministerial meeting together with eight appendixes are scheduled to be approved at the event. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the APEX establishment and 20-year implementation of the Bogor Goals of Free and Open Trade and Investment, aiming to enhance regional economic connectivity, promoting creativeness, economic innovation and growth as well as boosting regional language and infrastructure development.